Hey, sorry, I had to make a quick video about why this is really, um, sorry, I'll try not to do that. Uh, why this is really so important about at least understanding square numbers and, you know, if they're real numbers and, um, and irrational and kind of so forth. Well, a lot of things I've been doing, and obviously I know, I don't want to get into the whole math of, oh, you know, you buy 25 cantaloupes or blah, 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 blah. But, and not even all of you are going to be doing what I'm doing as far as what I'm doing right now is I'm mulching a yard. All right, and I'm also putting in grass feed. Well, obviously, when you bag a when you buy a uh, bag of mulch or when you buy a bag of grass seed, it tells you how many um, square feet that it's going to cover. And so, if you're looking at that, you know, without let's say you don't know the area of your yard, um, but but you do know that um, okay, well, if this covers a you know if this covers 80 square feet or 40 square feet. Um, and if you want to look at, you know, if you could kind of develop a square, oh, okay, well, how many, what dimensions would that, you know, make? And you can look at 80 square feet. That's not a square number. That's very close, though. Just by me understanding my, the, the fact of square numbers, I understand that that's going to give me very close to 9 by 9. So that means by buying one bag of mulch or grass seed, whatever it was, was 80 square feet, I know that that can now create me a square that's nine by nine. So when I'm going to look at my yard, and let's say I don't want to do all dimensions, I don't want to work through geometry and doing length times width, and maybe that's an irregular shape. But so what I can do though is if I know I have a nine by nine, I can kind of break that up, try to break my yard up into nine by nine sections. Now, I understand, you know, you might say, oh, this is just a small little stupid problem and, you know, so forth. But it's really not the fact of just, you know, being a math teacher, I know how to do that. It's the fact that understanding real numbers, understanding square numbers, and understanding that allows you to estimate this. Because, yeah, some of you might never ever mulch a yard or might ever ever grass eat a yard. And that's not why we're learning this, so you can be able to apply that problem. But I guarantee there's going to be a time where you're going to have to know how to estimate um, and look at things and kind of you know work backwards and that's really all this process is about kind of the understanding of knowing what you're given and being able to use that thinking to be able to work work towards what you need to figure out and be able to estimate and apply that to whatever skill you're using so it just so happened I'm using that right now on my yard so I wanted to kind of let you know about it uh, it does apply to a lot of real life stuff you might never ever use it for your yard but you know it, I guarantee there's going to be some time where you're going to be looking into estimating um, and kind of working with score roots where it's going to be applicable for you to have this reasoning that we've been working through on this module to help you, uh, you know, solve a real life problem.